made Jake Odorizzi so tough? <sighs> um, I thought he pitched up in the zone with his fastball re real well. Um, the slider split. Thought we had a number of quality at bats off him. Actually, um, you know, hit a number of balls on the button, hit some balls to the fence. Um, but he pitched well. You know, he mixed his three pitches, and uh, we just weren't able to get it done. You mentioned some of the quality at bats. Were you okay with the approaches overall, or would you have liked them to see change things up a little bit? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we want different results, and, and we need to. You know, we need to. We need to get better. But I thought our intent today was really good. I thought I thought the plans were solid. Um, and and you know if you look at that game, I, you know I, I thought we had a number of quality at bats and a not, lot of hard hit balls. But you know we expect more, and uh, and and we got to get it rolling. Severino started to give up a couple of hits in that sixth inning. What was different about his stuff in the sixth? Um, you know I thought. I thought his slider from the get-go was really good. The shape of it was really good. The velo was there um, all game. Um, I thought he pitched to the edges pretty well with it. He was mixing his changeup, probably just some pitches in the middle of the plate that they were able to jump on and, and hurt him with. Um, but overall, I thought he threw the ball really well. Are you encouraged overall by what you saw based on the last couple of times now? I, I was. Um, I thought he had a presence in the mound. I thought I thought he was confident. Um, you could tell right away the shape of his slider um, gave him three pitches that that he had a lot of confidence in. Um, you know the velocity stuff wise, he was he was there. So um, absolutely a positive step. How, was, how pleased were you with Greg Bird and his advance with what he's gone through? Yeah, um, obviously a big one to 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 get us on the board there. Um, you know he just missed the ball the first time and and then Odorizzi got him climbing the ladder with him in the second at bat. So, um, you know, it, you know, adversity, certainly Greg's faced that and, and to continue to battle and fight and, and give us a quality at bat to give us, get us a little bit closer there. Um, that was encouraging. Aaron, five and a half months in, how do you get better? Um, well, I think we have all, all the equipment in that room to, to, to be the club that we expect to be, to be the club we intend to be. Um, baseball will punch you in the mouth every now and then, and we won't. We're, we're clearly facing a little bit of adversity right now, and we'll embrace it, and we will we'll be better for it. And um, and you know, I expect us to come out Friday, uh, ready to turn the page, ready to turn the page, and ready to get after it. I, I thought in a lot of ways our intent. Um, um, I guess our commitment in the box was better if for, for, for being as bad and getting no hit and, and all that that goes with that. I actually thought up and down the lineup, I thought an intent was really good today. We just got to start getting results now, and we have the people in that room to get it done. We'll continue to work at it, and we'll, we'll, we'll come out of this adverse adversity better for having gone through it. Did Severino try to convince you to let him stay in? Yeah. Yeah. What did he say to you? He just he he wanted to stay in the game. Um, did, do you you can, you're, are you okay with how he handled that? Typically, Absolutely. that's not a yeah. Uh, what happens? I, I'm fine with my guys wanting to stay in the game, and you know he was very pitch efficient. Obviously, it wasn't a pitch count issue. It was just starting to get a little way, and you know he's he's in the fight right now. And I respect the hell out of that. He wants the ball, and he wanted to get out of that situation. Just the way we were lined up, I felt like uh, it was the right move at the time. But I have no issue with him wanting the ball. Is, is it fair to say that, you know, just with his pitch count, you know, if this was a couple months ago that he, he would have had the latitude to, you know, pitch his way out of? Well, I mean, like you know, that. so many things go into that. So, sometimes pitch count plays a role. Sometimes, you know, where you're at do you have a rested pen what's the score of the game you know you're coming up on an off day where all our high leverage guys are ready to roll so it's it's a little bit different every single day and you've got to weigh that and measure uh you know if you think he's starting to teeter there a little bit um you know clearly there were some hard hit balls in that inning um that said i i don't think he i, I think he could have got out of it i mean i, I but I, I felt like Robbie against Rosario there was a little bit better of a matchup at that point in time. Right, but is, is there, does the way he's pitched the last couple months call it, you know, color your decision there in some way? I, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it all goes in the, it's baked into the pie, you know, as far as 
you know, going into a game, what's available, all, all the different things that come into play and factor in. Um, so that's possible, but all in all, he threw the ball really well. You mentioned overcoming adversity here late in the season. What can you do from your end to try to spark things for this team? Um, <clears throat> continue to work, continue to try and um, prepare and have our guys and our coaches have us in the best position to when we walk out on the field, we're ready to go. Um, and again, it gets back to we have what it takes to be an elite club, and we believe that we are. Now we, we've got to get back to starting to get some results, and and all we can do is dig in, work, make sure we're prepared e each game, each series as best we can, and and expect this to turn around.